Chapter 7 of For Heaven's Sake Little Talks to Little Folks by Reverend Gerald T. Brennan. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Chapter 7 The World's Best Flag. Every country has a flag, a flag that's loved and honored. But for us, there's one flag that's the best. It's the world's best flag the stars and stripes, the red, white, and blue. You know, our flag is something more than a piece of cloth. Our flag means America. Those stars and stripes spell America. A hundred million people, happy homes, fathers, mothers, little children, friends, mountains, rivers, cities, farms. That's America. The best country in the world and the best country in the world has the world's best flag, the stars and stripes, the red, white, and blue. Do you know why we have soldiers? Soldiers protect America. Soldiers protect our flag. Soldiers fight for our flag. Why, soldiers even die for our flag. As long as American soldiers have the stars and stripes, they are not afraid to fight. Wherever our soldiers go, the flag goes before them. Never once has that flag been allowed to fall on the ground. The flag always flies high. As long as the flag flies, soldiers will fight. The flag leads our soldiers to victory. Boys and girls, you are all soldiers. You are soldiers in Christ's army. You're fighting every single day. Whom are you fighting? Why, you're fighting the devil, and the devil is fighting you. You're fighting sin. You know, the devil is always tempting you. The devil is trying to make you sin. You have to fight hard. You have to fight hard against the devil and his temptations. If you don't fight the devil and his temptations, then you'll fall into sin. Now, in your fight against the devil and his temptations, you all have a special flag. That flag is the cross. A flag that you should love and honor. A flag that should be always before you. That flag will always lead you to victory. There are no stars and stripes on your flag, but Jesus Christ is there. Jesus Christ, the greatest soldier of them all. Christ fought a hard battle, and Christ won his battle. Christ won the battle against sin. That's what the cross means to us. That's what your flag means to you. Remember, the cross is your flag in your battle against sin. When the devil tempts you, look up at the cross. Think about Christ on that cross. Ask Christ to help you fight the temptation. Remember, too, that when you're fighting temptation, you're fighting for Christ. As long as you keep your eye on the cross, you'll never surrender to the devil. You'll never let temptation lick you. You'll never fall into sin. Do you know what happens when you give in to temptation? Well, you turn your back on Christ. You let the cross fall. You throw Christ into the dust. Now, a real soldier never does that. No, sir. A real soldier fights and fights and fights. That's what you have to do. If you fight the temptation, you don't sin. It's up to you, then, to fight. To fight temptation. To fight sin. So, hold your flag up high. Keep your eye on that flag. Keep your eye on the cross. Fight! End of chapter 7